Hello there everyone, welcome back to IPTA FF9 edition. In the last episode we defeated Red. And now we're going to move on with Garnet in tow and hopefully find some forward momentum progress. Although I have no idea where they went. I think they went to the left again. Oh, hello. You're pretty good, thanks for rescuing her. Oh, that's alright, don't worry. I do what I do. I might not have a horn, but I've got a big heart. And I do have a horn, just not invisible. Okay. Ooh. Cam and coffee. I forgot to get that. I'm not sure I apologise to Hannah, but I guess she still can't find the right words. Koopa. Ugh. He's been quiet the whole time. Joey, let me ask you something. My grandfather told me to leave the village until my 16th birthday. I want to go with you guys, I really do. I think it's okay if I leave the village? I'll agree if it's what you want. Hannah, come with us. Forget what your grandpa said. Uh, it doesn't matter what I say. You've already made up your mind. Hmm. Don't you have something to say to Tio? Huh? Uh. <clears throat> Remember what you taught me at the leaf tree? You said I shouldn't ever lie to myself. I'll try to be more honest with my own feelings. You should too, Hannah. Hmm. I forgot my own advice, Tio. Thanks. I'll wear the jewel as an earring. I'll be okay then, right, Joey? The memory earring. Hannah? I think Mog wants to talk to you. Koopo. Uh. Koopo. What? You think I'm mad at you? I'm furious. You went off without me again. You promised me you wouldn't. What would you do if you went off and got into trouble? Koopo. Oh well, thank goodness we're both alright. You're always nice to Mog, aren't you, Hannah? Well, yeah, we're best friends after all. We were born on the same day and we've always been together. This is our friendship ribbon. Mog gave it to me. Oh, do you have the ribbon I gave you? Kippo! This is the one I gave to Mog. It's too big for her now, but once we're both sophisticated ladies, we'll wear them together. Kippo! Maybe then, Joey, you'll dance with me? Joey? I didn't know Mog was a girl. I wonder where Garnet went. Hog's a girl? <laughs> what? How can this be? Thanks for saving Hannah, Kubo. Why don't you get some rest? It'll be good for you, Kubo. Sure, I'll rest. I need to heal. Even if I only took a tiny bit of damage. Thank you. I'm level 30 now, and I didn't even realise. I've been level 30 the whole time. Because I haven't actually had any... Oh. Here's a song. Got it? I'm down there? Got it, you there? Hmm. Joey! It's okay, keep singing, because it's our song, right? I'm surprised you found this place. You got the talent to be a bandit. How about you and me team up? We'll call ourselves the Betrothed. My talent's up to snuff, but that name isn't. Hmm. Eh, hey, you're really something these days. If I am, I must have gotten it from you. Nah, it's all because you made the effort to learn. No, it's because you stuck with me. Without you, I wouldn't have made it to Limblum. We've much less seen a whole new continent. Everything I tried to do on my own was a total failure. I couldn't stop my mother. At times, I almost lost hope. You helped me so much, not just you either. Yeah, Tio and Hannah helped out the leaf tree. Blurgo was real help before we left the continent. Ratchel, Angle, even Beatrix, who I thought was our enemy. I haven't forgotten. I want to believe everyone is alright, but sometimes I just can't. <laughs> I hope I can live up to the hopes of everyone who has helped me. You don't have to feel so responsible, Garnet, but I do! Nobody wants you to feel that way. They didn't do it all for you either. He's just following his own path. His own path? Well, what about you? Huh? Why did you come with me? Hey, that's Ibsen's line. Ibsen? Who's that? Ibsen is a character from a play, but he's like a real-life adventurer. I think the play is based on his adventures. It kind of goes like this. <clears throat> Ibsen and his good friend Colin worked at a tavern in Treno. One day, Ibsen got a letter. The letter was so wet from rain that most of the writing was illegible. The only part he could read said, Come back home. Nowadays, we have airships and stuff, but back then it was really hard to travel. He didn't know why he had to go back, but he got some time off, gathered his things, and set out on his journey home. 
He walked a thousand leagues through the mist. Sometimes he was attacked by vicious monsters, but he made it because his friend Colin was by his side. And then, after much time on the road, he had to ask Colin something. Why did you come with me? And what was Colin's answer? Only because I wanted to go with you. Joey, I... Mm. Darn it. Can't you... Can't you hear the song? Huh? Yeah, it's that song. How come? Who's singing it? Sunset makes the Adolamore look like it's on fire. I've seen this somewhere before. What? Where? What in the sweet mother of God is that? It's a giant eyeball. You okay, Garnet? Garnet! Garnet, wake up! Where's Tio? I mean, where's Tio? He's sleeping, I don't want to wake him up. No, that's alright. Well? I have no memory of my early childhood. I never really thought about it. Besides, nobody ever told me. I was raised in Alexandria, but only from the age of six or so. Six? So where were you till then? Until then, until I turned six. I must have been here in Mid-Ensuri. I still can't remember everything. Some things are like they're shrouded in fog. But I do remember one thing. About ten years ago, an unbelievably huge hurricane hit this village, that's as far as I remember. That day I... I was with my true mother on a little boat far from the village. There's a cove behind Anna's house, right? The boat I was on was just like the one there. It all came back to me when I heard that song on the boat. That song is for Maiden Suri, so that's why nobody else knows it. How did you get to Alexandria? How come you got to be a princess? How come you don't have a summoner's horn? I don't know. But maybe Dr. Todd can tell me. About the lady who protected me from the storm as the boat lurched about in the waves. My biological mother who died on that boat. The woman she thought was her mother became someone else and her true mother was already dead. Garnet has lost two mothers. That must suck. I used to pray every day here at the Idolum Wall. You too? You pray here too, Hannah? I'm so happy I remembered. Garnet! Welcome home! So glad to be back. <laughs> what? I just realised I'm not alone anymore. Yep, I made up my mind. Jerry, Garnet, I'm going with you. I'll be breaking my promise to my grandpa, but I want to go. Besides, Grandpa always told me to be honest with myself. I don't know what the future holds, but I want to finish what I came here for. So do I. Let's all go together. Come on, Garnet, let's go pray together. Alright. I still don't know what I should do, by the time we defeat Kudra and return to Alexandria. 
Grandpa, I'll be back soon. Oh, you're coming with us? Hey, why the long face? Uh oh, nothing, my face is always like this. Mog's coming too. Mog! Lady Hannah, now don't forget that you'll always have a home in Maiden Sui. Don't let our memory become a burden. You must always be light-hearted and free. Thoughts of the O'Donnell will always lift your heart. Whee! What now? You want some more, eh? Victor lives, the defeated die. You know the rules. Your actions yesterday were incomprehensible to me. Tell me, why didn't you kill me? Well, that's a tough question. Are you really that unhappy that I let you live? I'd rather die as a warrior than live as a beggar. Then come with me. Joey? What? What are you after? Follow me and maybe you'll understand. Besides, you're pretty good in a fight. We could use someone like you. We're hunting a man down. Hmm, it's only constant as an unpredictability. Huh? You say something? Very well. I'll find out what makes you so strong. What's your name? Call me what you will. Hmm, Lanny calls you Red, right? Uh... I want to call him something that's not amorant, but is also a shade of red. So... I'm going to call him... I'm going to call him Blood. His name is Blood. The Flaming Blood. It's a good name. Some call me the Flaming Blood. That's a good name. Fine, we'll call you Blood. Blood Red. That's a good, that's a good name. The more the merrier. Let's decide our marching order. Sorry, Blood. you got to stay. Because I promised Hannah that I'd stick with her to the end. So, until I have to get two parties together, you're going to, you're going to be in reserves. Actually... I don't need Garnet right now, I have a healer. Garnet can chill. I'll dang up blood with me. Just to show you what you can do. Alright, we'll do fine. Just follow me. Next stop, the leaf of tree. Right, so blood has cat's claw. But I can equip the poison knuckles. I also have all these different hats for him, so that put that on there. Uh, give him level up as soon as possible, so he needs the survival vest. I've got to learn chakra, so that's gonna stay. And then, who has level up? Someone must have it. I guess not. Okay. You'll have to have something else to help him level up then. Maybe Garnet has it. It's not important. His his attack power is pretty high. So he has 23 attack power to begin with. Which is the same as everyone else. But he'll have 33 when I give him the new weapon. Which will make him the strongest besides me. And Joey's always going to be the strongest. Ordinary claws used for combat. You need to teach him all sorts of things. So HP plus 10, good. Undead killer, beast killer, good. Counter, good. Alert. Bright eyes. Good. Okay. He's going to be my counter guy. He's going to be the tank. He gets hit. He smacks him back. He gets hit. He smacks him back. Sounds like a really rubbish uh, dance track. He gets hit. He hits him back. He gets hit. He hits him back. You know? Something really rubbish like that. But that's alright. Here we go. We're going to the leaf tree. Not about, not really sure how far into it we're going to get, but we'll have a look. Quack. This is a good opportunity to show you how Amaranth fights, or Blood. I don't mind calling him Blood. I think Blood is a good name for a guy. I am Blood, the greatest bandit in the world. His real name's actually like Jeff or something, but people just call him Blood because it sounds more dangerous. 
Ding. So 400 damage for a basic weapon is not bad at all. He also has a lot of health to begin with. Now Tio is going to clean up with Fira. You might vanish, but you can't evade magic. Not in this game. Unless, of course, you're immune to it. But that's a different story. Excellent. So, Hannah's the only person who doesn't have a thousand health yet. Next level, she'll have a thousand health. That'd be really, really good for business. Does she have a ability up? No, that's alright, doesn't matter. Right, where am I going? Did I... This is the way to the leaf tree, isn't it? Yes. Okay, I was like, can't remember if I was going the right way or not. Okay, so that's just more magic goblins again. Hopefully I'll be able to get here without another fight. Come on, 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 come on. Yes. Excellent. This this part might go on a little bit long, but I really want to finish this too. In this episode. And this is going to do it. Still a little mist, but at least there's no more coming out. That must mean Kudra isn't here yet. What happened to the mist? We beat the beast that breeds it. So much for the mist, Compton. No more mist. Must possess incredible powers to accomplish such a feat. Jerry, there's a silver dragon! It's him, he flew over the ruins of Bermisia riding a silver dragon. It's Kudra alright and he's riding that dragon. Son of a bitch. Oh, how I've longed for this day. The day I might finally cast away this mask to reveal my true self. Now it's longer matters if the leafy tree is liberated, it means nothing to me. Mm -ha -ha -ha! The tree is so beautiful, its beauty becomes the great mother tree that lives among the stars. Silver dragon, let us watch the drama unfold from the trunk of Leafa. No one shall interrupt us there. Who do I want to take with me to fight Kuja? I'm going to take my original crew, because it's only fair. Let's go. My crew will do the business, I promise. We're running straight to the leafy tree, we ain't got time to fuck about. By the way, this theme is really, really good. Cool. Tio got his transmitter gauge during that fight. So I just killed the zombies that I was fighting with like four Feroes in a row. It's pretty great. Actually, I only took like two, but I had four queued up. So I did two, but I was going to do two in the next turn, is what I mean. We'll pass the trunk if we go any further. I like how blood just stays far enough away. Kudra went down that trunk. Say, so, Joey, how are we going to get up there? Can't we climb there? That is one hell of a fucking climb. Bro. Not me. M -m -m me neither. I don't think I can either. We all came all this way, now what? What's the problem? You should all just go by yourself. We've got to go face Kudra together. How did this wimp end up beating me? Whoa, hey! Hey, Blood, watch where you're walking. You must knock me down. He who hesitates is lost. You'd best remember that. Well, I prefer my way or the highway. Whatever, like you actually have a plan. Oh, yes, Smarty Pants. Don't forget you're the one that lost to Joey. Shut up, Bat. A planner? That's right, Blood. You owe me one, remember? It's payback time. Shoot. There's some gargant grass around here, so a gargant can't be far. I want you to catch one for me. Then we can all get on, the, it, get on it and ride it to the top. Why should I do all that when I can just take the kids up myself? Huh? I'd ever let this dimwit beat me. Hey! Whoa! Sure has spirit. Alright, Garnet, I'll just carry you piggyback. Huh? Hey, Joey, wait just a...
The weak lose their freedom to the strong. Such is the way of the strong, and it is only the providence of nature that only the strong survive. That is why I needed strength. I learned of powers that had dawned even him over ten years ago. Such a long time. Now my forces are ready to strike. Ah, the suspense is terrible. So they've come this far, have they? Perfect. I'll warm up on them until the elephant lady shows up. Thanks, blood. Now we're even. Show me what you guys can do. There's Kuja. Yeah, get ready, guys. Let's do it. Kuja, the maker of black mages. And any enemy of Jerry's an enemy of mine. Alright, let's go. You are Kuja, correct? My name is... Princess Garnet El Alexandros. I wish to ask you something. Was it really who persuaded my mother to start the war? The war that threw the entire mist continent into the chaos? And you made everyone, the black mages, into instruments of war? Oh dear, the princess is such a bloodthirsty little puppet. I don't have the power to do such a thing. I just gave them a little recipe. Begin with broth of mist, add fermented souls, and boil. Then pour genuine black magic into a mixing bowl and heat to... Stop it! I'm not done telling you how to make soulless toys out of the dregs of souls. Dregs of souls? You mean mist? First you don't want to listen, now you start asking questions. Oh brother, you're, you're not ready yet. Why you... Don't you feel anything, taking the lives of so many? Spare the lecture. Life's come and go all the time, what's the big deal? Speaking of warmongers, why... What about that mother of yours, princess? She said she won't feel alive until she has everything. It breaks my heart to see such greed. It was my fault. No, no, your mother wanted it. All I did was give her a little push. Liar. My mother was sweet and kind. You changed her. Hmm, so the curtain rises. Perfect, my canary. Let me show you the truth about your mother. First act, the end of the ugly desire. It's showtime. <laughs> Kuja, so you finally decided to show your gutty face with that. You all those stands between me and total domination. <laughs> Whatever I've got all you've done for me, in my time I'll show you the ultimate pop. Attention all hands, only the muck majors that focus on their mental entries in a single spell. Lay suppressing fire upon Kuja until the casting is finished. Fire! Fire up more! She always sounds like she's choking on food. That's how I picture. Orders from Her Majesty. Black Mages, focus all your magical energy to a single spell. I... I can't believe it. Your mother isn't satisfied with just one continent. Her ugliness and stupidity are truly impressive. Ah, everything is proceeding as I have foreseen. What are you talking about? You're just the opening number. Time for the real show. We won't let you get away. The mist may be created no more, but it still lurks in caves and forests, right? Huh? I can make monsters with magic. Come forth, spawn of the mist. These guys are actually pretty hard. If you don't have the right equipment to take them on. Unfortunately, I do so much damage, it shouldn't take more than two hits to kill each one. With Jerry, I mean. This music's always so good, I just can't help it. But, come along to it. Mist is a powerful move that hurts a lot. But mainly to physical characters, so just Joey, really. And Amorant would be hurt too. Psh. 
you got to stop trying to attack Tio. It's the worst move you can make. Anyone will take more damage than Tio does. Literally. Tio just got two kills. He doesn't give a shit. Can own in everyone. Yay! Level 31, so now level 5 death won't kill me anymore. Hmm. So, two of your enemies are duking it out. Why not just leave them and finish off the winner? My money's on Kuja. Ah, foolish Bonnie. Your prized cannons are useless against the spawn of the mist. Hmm, but even a fool like you knows that there's only one path you can take, right? Stupid elephant lady, why do you hesitate? Very well, I'll make the first move. I'll give you a clean target. You can't miss. Silver Dragon, descend. That's right. Let's split before we get dragged in. No, I, I can't. I can't let anything happen to my mother. Got it? Joey, I, I have to save her. Uh, Garnet, she extracted her dolens from you and started a war. I still don't want her to die, but she didn't care one bit whether you lived or died. You don't have to call her mother anymore. She's my only mother. I don't care if you don't understand. Hannah, you said that there was an idolin in prison near here, right? Um, yeah. Please, tell me where. Uh, it's a long way down. You see the place with lots of roots? That's it. There, I see it. Gun it, don't go alone. Shit. This is actually a fairly good place to farm experience as well, killing those little guys. I didn't cut that fight out because it's story, dri story driven, but it's just interesting that these guys are actually quite good XP. <clears throat> this is turning into quite a show. Anyone can get emotional at a time like this. Give her a break. Jerry, let's go. Garnet's in danger all by herself. Yeah, let's go after her. She still isn't quite got enough health to get over a thousand yet. We'll see how she goes next level. 2200 more. That's not that much. Should be okay. Now then. Off we go. This is pretty scripted. There are so many fights you have to fight while you're going down this branch. I think one more wave of them and Hanno will level up again. Get out of here. Leave me alone! Ugh. We might not actually make it all the way down with one fight. No! Oh. <laughs> so, right, so she's, she leveled up. Does she have over a thousand health now? She does. Excellent. We all have over a thousand health. That's always a good time. Okay, let's go down the tree. No more fights, please. There we go. I sense the Eidolon's power. Now now I can save my mother. Please help me. Fired the Aquamarine. No! I can't save my mother with this Eidolon. Darn it, what's wrong? Can't you free it? No, I have it. I sent it as a great Eidolon, but... But... I don't believe it. This is the legendary sea serpent, Leviathan. Leviathan? An Eidolon who wipes out his enemies with a huge tidal wave. I'm sorry, Garnet. No, it's not your fault, but my mother's still in danger. I can't hit someone in the sky with waves. That's the problem. Is the No Majesty ready yet? 
All remaining ammunition was spent in the last wave of monsters. The next wave will chew, up, chew us all up unless we pull out now. That is not our decision. Get back to your post, soldier. That one seems to be tranced. Which is odd. Your Majesty, the Black Mages have completed their preparations. Then it's the what? Now I can finish him off. Come! Draconic Seedling. Bahamut, King of Dragons. This is Mega Flare. Mega Flare is OP. You made me bleed my own blood. Now you must die. I've heard the stories, but I never thought summoning could be so powerful. If Joey's after that power, I'd better watch out. Wow, now we can win and Mother won't have to die. Hannah, don't you think? What's wrong? Mark, she's terrified. How come? Uh, don't you know? That's the last idol on Bahamut the Dragon King. He'll win for sure. Uh, don't be so sure. Pooja's not exactly a normal person. Blood! Hmm. <laughs> Excellent, Bahamut. Power and mobility, you truly are the best. You even hurt me a little. Aren't you, Bran? Your tragic role in this drama now comes to an end. I'm sure you'll enjoy the second act from your soul's hellish prison, since the stage will be your former home. The final act will take us away from Gaia, and I'll kill my nemesis with my own hand. Ah, everything's going according to plan. I don't know why Bahamut attacked the one who summoned him. But we found Queen Barney on the beach next to her escape pod. She could hardly move and I thought she'd come to a stop- Oh, and I thought she'd come to a stop any second. I hate Kudra a lot, but I hate Barney a lot too. So much that I wanted this to happen to her. I should be happy, but... Once I saw Garnet start to cry, I didn't know how I should feel. I kind of wanted to cry too. can hear my daughter's voice. Yes, mother, I'm here. Right here. I... I am empty now. Free. Free of that terrible greed. Mother... I haven't felt this way since I saw that play with you and your father. I led Alexandria down the path of ruin. The people will be happier with you on the phone.
We went back to Alexandria on Queen Brane's escape pod. We also brought Garnet's mother with us. This way, princess. Angle, Beatrix. How horrible that her life had to end this way. I still can't believe all that has happened. Princess, it was my... No! It was my fault! Thank you, both of you. I must now carry the burden of all in Alexandria alone. Will both of you please help me during this, my time of need? Yes, princess! Certainly. Thank you. Princess, here is a wreath of your roses, your fa mother's favourite. Towns people sent it as an offering for the Queen's grave. True, Queen Barney had been acting quite erratic before her death, but the people are still very fond of her, as you can see. Mother, I shall become a great Queen. Queen. And that's the end of disc two. Do you want to save your game? Yes, I do. Slot one, please. Leave a tree. Let's save it for this one. So see you guys next time when we actually start disc three on Tuesday. Sorry for the length of this episode, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that it, you understand why I did it. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, everyone.